Currington with Detail CVT Guitar Lesson for Joel. Joel, you switched it up just in time, man. I had actually had um, Jason Aldean, she's country, and I titled everything and I was getting ready to break into it and you texted me and changed it. So just in time. A uh, really catchy song. Um, as I was transcribing it, dude, it's not very long at all. You've got three parts, really, and they revolve around the same chords. Um, so um, I gave you a new idea for the ending that I think will work, and I went ahead and put the solo in because even at that, it barely filled a page. All right, so tuning is standard. We're going to go C major, 3A, 5th fret, D, G, and B. Because these are in here a lot, I gave you a few different forms, too. So strum... <laughs> C7 with a G bass. Now, if you don't like the G bass, take it out, but bar everything third fret and go 5D and 5B. If you're not liking that, just don't play it, but it's in there. F major, first position bar chord. Everything first fret barred, third fret A and D, second fret G. And then, um, lift your middle finger off and your pinky. Bring your pinky's third fret on the uh, B string, so F minor, um, and then you do that twice. Oops, I messed it up. So that'll go two times. That's your intro. Section section one uh, B is the verse, thirty seconds in, and this is a little more, uh, probably one of the more difficult parts. Uh, you should be able to sing over it though. I had to get that melody in there somehow. If not, take the single notes out. Bar, fifth fret, D, G, and B. That's a C major. It's the high end, right? And we're gonna go strum those, then go eight, five on the B. So. And then fifth fret. So really the, the single note would be the eight. Unless you want to single out the five after it and go, you know. Then the change is 5D, 3G, 5B. And you're coming right off that C if you do that as the chord. Quick rest. Hit it again and then go to an F chord. Which is 3D, 2G, 1B. Quick rest, hit it again, and then go to third fret, and then barred first fret G and B. And you throw the accent chord in there, just like two notes, third fret G and B. You don't have to put those in there. You can have the progression just go. You know what I mean? It's up to you your basic chords um, and then this is your last rhythm here because that's going to go four times and then the chorus section 1C 58 seconds in mixing up another way to play the C major chord the way you know it 3A, 2D and 1B and we're going to go Really cool. So down, 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 up, change. When you change, you're going to a C7. Just take your pinky, add it to the third fret on the G string, uh, string three. Rest, and then down, down, up, down, up, and then repeat that same strum over F and F minor. Uh, from the G string down, three, two, one, one. Down, 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 up, and our change is going to be 3D, 1G, just bar it, 3B, and 1 high E. Beautiful. And then uh, down, down, up, down, up. Five times of all that. want those last two chords bigger just go 
what I mean? I'm really liking the, that note in there. The F chord with the D. It has the sixth note of the scale in there. Um, so it would be D minor six. Um, so that's it, dude. Um, series of repeats. Um, idea with the ending was section 1A because three minutes and one second in, or wait, where's the solo part? You'll see where it says section 1C, the minute 32 timestamp, six times, solo on fifth and sixth. So if you want to do the solo, there's your spot, okay? If not, just don't even play the solo and go into the next part or just go two extra times through the rhythm which is the part you just learned. Okay, and then um, to end the song, and then I'm gonna show you the solo. I, this is just an idea I had. Idea end with section 1A two times and slowly end with no star. In other words, you can just, no vocals in, or anything, just a. Uh, oops. And you can start slowing it down and let it ring. That's an idea to end it. Which I would, in that section, I have 3 1 1 for your F minor, but you can go 3 1 3 if you want. A little more colorful. And then the solo. Uh, it's really easy 2 minutes 21 seconds in 13 B twice, vibrato. Or first finger though. 15th fret, two and a half um, steps bend. That's, you're not gonna find higher than that. It's up there. If you want, just do a whole step. It'll still be in key. 13B bend, and then vibrato it. 227, we're gonna go 7G bend. 6B, 7G bend, and then vibrato it, so. 5D slide to 7 and then 8th um, fret on the B string slide to 10 and then go to the 9th fret so it's and this is cool you'll hear a so but quicker 10 pull off to 8 on the E and then 9B vibrato High E, alternate pick, 13, 15, 13. Just leave the index down, don't go. Go. Oops. 15B bend, hold, release. And that's it. So uh, probably, I dare say, one of the easier CBT lessons you've done. When I listened to it, which I only listened to it one time, but I got the format, I thought it'd be a little trickier. But once I started working on it, boom. So that's why I wanted to change up you know the chord progression as far as where you play a C major we have three places instead of just having you do it in one place it makes it more interesting so have fun with it Joel thanks